So, how many of you here are traders? So, almost, ano? How many of you here are non-traders? So, alam ko meron, eh, nagkakahiyaan lang eh. So, the reason I ask that is because my topic is about why do traders fail? And if you are a non-trader friend, pwede siyang palitan with the words people or person. For example, why do people fail? Example again, what does it take to become a successful trader? It could be what does it take to become a successful person. So I have two questions for you guys. How many of you believe that you need to learn in order to become a successful trader? You need to learn. Thank you. How many of you here believe that you need to unlearn in order to become a successful trader? Ayos. Thank you. So the reason I ask that is, yung mga first speakers natin, they are helping you to learn more. Marami ba kayong natutunan sa first set of speakers natin? Yeah. If marami kayong natutunan, pwede bang bigyan sila ng mat- masigabong palakpakan? Ayos. Thank you. Taas ng energy. Yan ang gusto ko. Now, yung mga first set of speakers natin, they talk about happiness, clarity, vision with clarity. Uh, the five uh, formula for profitable trading, and yung recently lang is yung about habits. Now, don't get me wrong. Learning is an important part. I myself believe that once you stop learning, you start dying. Thank you. Now, let's go to the second question. It's about unlearning. If mapapansin nyo, dun sa list of topics ngayon, yung topic ko lang yung negative. It's about failing, why do traders fail? And yung iba, it's all about positive. The reason na negative yung topic ko is I believe that unlearning is also important when it comes to learning. Ulitin ko, unlearning is also important when it comes to learning. Dito sa kasi sa trading community natin, sobrang daming information. Agree? Yes. Sa sobrang daming information, hindi na nat, uh, sa sobrang daming information, puro tayo dagdag lang ng dagdag. What you don't realize is mas mahirap magtanggal kaysa magdagdag. Mas mahirap magbawas ng mga nalalaman mo sa trading versus magdagdag ng mga nalalaman niyo sa trading. And today, I am going to share with you the top 3 reason why traders fail in the stock market. Okay ba sa inyo yun? Yes! So, let's begin. The number three reason, write this down. The number three reason is the fear of failure. The fear, the fear of what? Failure. Thank you. Yun, tumataas ang energy ah. So, Para ma-explain ko ng mas maayos yung fear of failure, allow me to share with you a story. So, so ano pangalan mo? Aris. Aris, palang pangalan si Aris. Hi, Aris! Mali, mali ang segue. So, let's say si Aris, he is a fresh college graduate. And kapag fresh college graduate ka, ano ba yung unang goal mo? Your first goal is to find a high-paying job from a high-paying company. Yun yung usual na goals na mga fresh college graduates. Now, before I proceed to the story of Aris, allow me to share with you what is a process. Okay ba yun? Gusto nyo malaman ano ba yung process? Iba lagi natin siya naririnig. So, take this down na. A process is a journey from point A to point B. A process is a journey from point A to point B. Now, dun sa example ni Aris, ang point A niya is yung fresh graduate pa lang siya. Ang point B niya is yung makakuha ng high-paying job from a high-paying company. Point A is the starting point. Point B is your destination or your goal. Now, from point A to point B, 
Naniniwala ba kayo na there will be a lot of fears that Aries will encounter? Yes. yes. So, let's go to the story of Aries. Nawawala ako eh. So, kapag fresh graduate ka and gusto mo mag-apply na sa isang company, ano una mong gagawin? Unang-una gagawa ka ng resume. After mag ng resume, sasubmit mo sa mga companies. So, nag-submit siya sa companies, tatlong companies yung target niya. Si company A, company B, and company C. So, he submitted the resume Saturday night, and he got a response from company A Sunday night. So, pagdating ng Sunday night, ini-invite siya ni company A to, uh, to go to the office and, you know, have the interview. So, si Aris, dahil fresh graduate siya, na-excite siya, sobrang na-excite siya. So, ang ginawa niya, he prepared like never before. So, nag-research siya about how to nail a job interview, he researched about the company, and all, and all, and all. So, come Monday morning, ayun, pagising niya, sinuot niya yung pinakamagandang damit niya, pumunta siya doon sa company, he was 30 minutes early doon sa company na yon. And, you know what? He aced the job interview. He was flawless. But, ang sagot ng HR manager sa kanya, don't call us, we will call you. Now, Yung sagot na yon is yun lang yung polite way of companies telling you that you didn't make it. Now, yung confidence level ni Aris from 100, naging 50 na lang. So, umuwi siya ng bahay, yun, pasipa-sipa na lang na ano, kung ano man. pag niya ng bahay, nakita na naman siya ng email. Si company B was inviting him for a job interview. So, nabuhay na naman siya ng confidence level. From 50, naging 100 ulit. So, he prepared like never before. He researched the company. He watched YouTube videos about how to ace that job interview. And so, come Tuesday morning, uh, inano na naman niya yung pinakamagandang damit niya. And he was again 30 minutes early. And he ace again the job interview from start to finish. And alam niyo kung ano yung sagot ng HR manager sa kanya? Uh, Aris, you're very good at what you do, but don't call us. We will call you. So, another confidence level niya from 100 naging level 1 na lang. Imagine guys, if ganun yung naramdaman nyo, sobrang excited mo after graduation, tapos dalawang beses ka na na-reject, how would you feel? Diba sobrang, sobrang sakit. So, ang ginawa niya, umuwi na naman siya, pasipa-sipa na naman, and... Imbes na tignan niya yung laptop niya kaagad, ang ginawa niya, nag-Facebook siya, nag-Dota siya, natulog siya, nag-Walwal siya and all. Now, after, oh, just before going to sleep, naisip niya, why not check my laptop again? And company C emailed again, inviting him for another interview. Pero yung confidence level niya, handito na lang. He did not prepare. Sabi niya, sige, puntahin ko na lang bukas and then bahala na kung ano man yung mangyari. So, come the following day, yung damit niya, gusay, gu, gu, ano na lang eh, uh, hindi na na-plancha and all eh. He was five minutes late. And after the interview, yung interview niya from company A to company B, bumaba rin yung performance level niya. He was just okay with the interview. And after the interview, sabi nung HR manager sa kanya ni company C, Aris, you are hired. So, si Aris, bakit ganun? Nung nag-prepare ako, nung nag-prepare ako, hindi ako nakapasa. Pero bakit nung nag-prepare ako, nakapasa ako? Here's what, here's what Aris realized. Okay lang ma-reject, wag lang mag-regret. Now, siguro maraming nagtatanong sa inyo, Sir, nasan yung fear of failure dun? Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. Ito na yung fear of failure. Di ba sabi ko kanina, may, from point A to point B, marami tayong fears na ma -e encounter Correct? And one of the fear na na-encounter ni Aris is the fear of rejection. Now, ganito yan ha. Sa fear of rejection kasi, you are already doing something. Correct? From point A to point B, meron ka ng progress. Sa fear of failure, the fear of failure happens before point A. Zero actions. 
The fear of rejection can be caused by external things. It can be caused by other people. The fear of failure is internal. The fear of rejection pwedeng wala tayong control. Ang masakit sa fear of failure, meron tayong control. Kaya sabi ko, fear of failure is internal. Now, ano ba yung fear of failure? Kanino ba sinasabi yung internal, internal? Ano ba talaga yung fear of failure? The fear of failure is you not trying something for your goals. Ulitin ko ha. The key word here is not trying something. Ibig sabihin, from point A to point B, hindi ka umuusad. Kasi the fear of failure happens before point A. So, dito may ganitong feeling na ay hindi na lang ako gagalaw kasi mag-fail din naman ako. Normal yun, di ba? That's a normal feeling. Now, another definition of fear of failure is you not even doing something for your goals. Fear of failure is you having that feeling that you are not good enough. Ulitin ko ah, the fear of failure is you having that feeling, having that feeling that you are not good enough. Ito question ko sa inyo, diretsahan tayo, I'm very serious about this. How can you win in something? How can you reach your goals? How can you reach success? If sa loob-loob pa lang, if deep down inside you, talo ka na. Think about that. Alam nyo kung bakit meron tayong fear of failure? Meron tayong fear of failure kasi our fear of failure is greater than our desire to succeed. Mas mataas yung mindset mo na what if mag-fail ako versus yung mindset mo na what if mag-succeed ako. Correct? Now, Sino dito yung gusto ng tip on how to battle fear of failure? Ayun, thank you. Now, before I go with that, di ba sabi ko marami tayong fears na may encounter? The first fear, write this down, the first fear that I should eliminate in my life is the fear of failure. The first fear that you should eliminate in your life is the fear of failure. So, balik tayo sa tip. So, oh, sino gusto ng tip? Taas kamay! Ayun. So, how to battle fear of failure? In battling fear of failure, the key word here is to just keep on trying. Try lang ng try. Alam niyo kung bakit? Everything starts from trying. Ikaw, you started from trying. Diba? TRX Forum. Diba? It started from trying. Sabi siguro ni Cap, try nga natin mag-TRX Forum. Diba? Try ko nga mag-trade. Try ko nga mag-apply sa company na to. Facebook. Facebook started from trying. Do you think if yung first failure ni Mark Zuckerberg, tapos hindi na siya nag-try, do you think ma, yung Facebook andito pa ngayon? Iba wala na. Everything starts from trying. So whenever you encounter that feeling of, I'm not good enough, alam, mahirap lang ako, ang dami eh. So always remember that the challenge is to just keep on trying. Once you remove fear of failure, your life will change. The second reason, the second reason why traders fail is procrastination. What's another term for, pro- for procrastination? Mamaya na, mamaya na habit, but I'll do it later. So to further illustrate this uh, procrastination, sino ba? Example. Uh, ikaw, ma'am. Anong name mo, ma'am? Shane, palakpakan natin si Shane. Thank you, thank you, receive. So, si Shane, let's say, ano ba magandang story? Uh, let's say, si Shane, she's a college student naman. So, kanina, college graduate niya yung college student. Let's say, si Shane, uh, sir, mga 18 years old. Okay na ba yun? 
18 years old and bata pa, di ba? Katabs. So, <laughs> so si Shane, she is a well-known procrastinator. This is just an example. Ha? She is a well-known procrastinator. And ayaw niyang pumasok sa school kasi meron silang project na isasubmit ngayon. And, and since procrastinator nga siya, wala siyang isasubmit. Pero kailangan niyang pumasok kasi pag hindi siya pumasok, babagsak siya. So ayan na, pasok na si Shane. Pagdating niya, nag-observe muna siya. Hmm, yung mga kaklase ko nag-submit, ako lang hindi ah. Okay to ah. Sabi ni Shane na ganun. So yung teacher, alam na alam niya na walang project si Shane. Kasi nga, Shane is a well-known procrastinator. So ano ginawa ng teacher? Oh, Shane, where's your project? Submit it now. Pero si Shane, sabi niya, Hmm, ang bait ni Sir ah. Ano kayang nakain ito? Sabi ni Shane. Oh, so sabi ni Sir, let's say si Sir, pangalan niya ay si Sir Stephen. Diba? Sobrang bait. Sabi niya, oh Shane! <laughs> example lang. Shane! Uh... <laughs> oh, example lang ito. So sabi niya, Uy, si, uh, put, huwag na nga yung hawak. Uh, uh, Shane, uh, meron ka bang ano? Meron ka bang problema? Yun. Meron ka bang problema kung bakit di ka nakapag-submit? Oo, so sabi ni Shane, uh, Sir, Hello? Uh, sir, kasi may migraine ako kagabi, kaya hindi ako nakapag-submit. Sabi ni Sir Stephen. Ah, pero mabait pa to, mabait yung tono. Isipin nyo lang, mabait. Ah, uh, you see, Shane, every one of your classmates have submitted. And naniniwala ako na meron din yung mga personal struggles nila. Pwedeng may sakit yung ibang yan, pwedeng yung ibang may problema din dyan, pero sila nakapag-submit. What's your excuse of not submitting? Sabi ni Shane. Sir, uh, I promise, I commit that I will submit the project on time. I will submit it tomorrow. So, sabi ni Sir Stephen. Hmm. Ay. <laughs> sabi ni Sir Stephen. So, are you asking for an extension? So, are you asking for an extension? Mabait pa to, ha? Sabi ni Shane. Yes, sir, I'm asking for an extension. So, sabi ni Sir Stephen. Okay, I will give you an extension with one condition. Ito na. With one condition. Mga utak niyo, ha? So, sabi ni Shane, Sige, sir, whatever that condition is. Sige, sabi ni Sir Stephen, Okay, I will allow you to submit tomorrow if you will submit the two previous projects that you did, that you did not submit to me. So, si Shane, wala siya magagawa, eh. In your, in, it is in your moments of decision na siya, eh. Sabi niya, Sige, sir, I will submit the three projects tomorrow on time. Sabi ni Sir Stephen. Okay, sige. So si Shane, lalakad siya pa uwi. Sipa-sipa na naman. Sabi ni Shane, ito yung na-realize ni Shane. If sinubmit ko lang yung dalawang projects before, hindi sana nagpatong-patong yung projects ko ngayon. Now, the moral of the story is, never, ever, ever procrastinate things. Because one day, all of your work will pile up and it will be a burden for you to complete them. Ulitin ko ha. Never, ever, ever procrastinate things because one day, all of your work will pile up and it will be a burden for you to complete them. Sabi nung isang actor, si Christopher Parker, procrastination is like a credit card. It's like a credit card. Why credit card? Si dito may mga credit card. So, yung wala, hindi kayo bibentahan na. Uh, procrastination is like a credit card. It's a lot of fun until you get the bill. It's a lot of fun until you get the bill. So whenever you're procrastinating things, always think that procrastination is like a credit card. Now, ito ang tatanong ko sa inyo. Alam nyo ba na hindi kayo nakanakaw kapag nagpo-procrastinate kayo? Akala nyo kasi, kapag nagpo-procrastinate kayo, nananakawan nyo yung oras. Mali! Mali! Yung oras, yung nakanakaw sa'yo. Yung oras, yung, nag- yung tumatawa sa'yo. Kasi, 
sisingilin ka niyan mamaya. And you have to remember that time is a limited supply. Mauubos at mauubos at mauubos yan. So, if you keep on saying things like, mamaya na, bahala na, mamaya ko nalang gagawin, I will do it later. Gusto niyo pa malaman ang definition ng later? Yes. Later means never. Later means never. Now, ganito kasi yung success. For example, ako si success, ha? And ito si, si Shane. <laughs> si Shane na naman, eh. So, sasabihin ni success, Oh, ito Shane. Gusto ba maging successful? So, sasabihin ni Shane, yes. Oh, ito gawin mo. Okay? So, sasabihin ni Shane. Ah, uh, okay. Mamaya ko nalang gawin. Parang ganun. So, sasabihin ni success, Ah, mamaya mo nagagawin? Okay, edi mamaya na lang din yung success mo. Parang ganun siya. Let's say another story. Let's say, ma'am, ano pangalan mo? Donna. Hi, Donna! Hi, Donna! Let's si Donna. Oh, sabi ni success. Oh, Donna, ito na yung success mo. Sabi ni Donna. Naku, ang hirap naman ito. Hindi ko na lang ito gagawin. Parang ganun. So, sasabi ni success, Ah, hindi mo ba yan gagawin? Ito kasi yung susi para maging successful ka eh. Okay, sa iba ko na lang ito ibibigay. Para ibang tao na lang yung maging successful. Imagine guys, lahat ng ginagawa nyo ngayon, connected yan sa success story mo. Believe me. Lahat ng ginagawa, hindi aksidente, bakit nandito ka ngayon? Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Yes! And nung high school ako, meron akong laging naririnig na quote na work now, play later. Tama ba yun? Work now, play later. And then, play now, work later. So, merong common word doon sa two sentences na yun. And yung common word is the word work. The word work. Procrastination falls under play now, work later. Ito na isip ko. If I will work, if hindi ko pala matatakasan yung work, might as well work now. Okay? Might as well work now. Kasi ito yung question ko lagi when it comes to procrastination. If you can do it now, why do it tomorrow? If you can be successful now, why be successful tomorrow? Alam nyo kung bakit? Procrastination is the number one reason kung bakit nadidelay yung success story mo. Believe me, that is the number one reason. You are delaying your success kasi. And if hindi matatakasan pala yung word na work, the question is, when are you going to work? And naniniwala ako that every single person in this room will be successful. Taas yung kamay yung gusto, gusto maging successful. Ayan. Now, diretsahan tayo. The question is, when do you want to be successful? Are you going to be successful now? Or are you going to be successful later? That's up to you. Kaya lagi sinasabi ni Cap, Never, ever, ever delay success. So that's number two. What's number three? The fear of failure. What's number two? Procrastination. Now let's go to the number one reason. Okay pa ba? So far so good? Okay. Sino na antok? Nako po. Ayun. <laughs> so the number one reason why traders fail is because of X girlfriend no X Q says Bakit ginawa ko number 1 yung excuses Kasi kapag tinanggal mo yung excuses mawawala na rin yung procrastination and yung fear of failure Excuses are lies we tell ourselves. Always remember that. Excuses are lies we tell ourselves. So, syempre, may story na naman ako about excuses. Pero at this time, wala lang example. This will be a very uh, personal story. Um, so, sabi ni Audrey kanina, by the way, nasa si Audrey? Uh, sabi niya, I attended imp- Impact last October 2017. And 
after October 2017, meron kaming thesis or yung tinatawag na 90-day challenge. Ang nangyari nun is, along the way, meron nag-invite sa akin na ZFT mentor. Tutuluan daw niya akong uh, maging uh, magaling na trader. And actually, guys, nandito siya ngayon. Pwede ba natin palakpakan si Sir Hyperion? <laughs> sir, tayo ka nga, Sir. Yeah. So, along the 90 days, pumasok yung ZFT mentoring. So, ang nangyari, nakalimutan ko na meron pala akong 90-day challenge na ginagawa. Kasi kailangan ko mag-focus ha, sa mentorship program namin. From so, October yung impact, so November yung November to December, I think. And that, that's around one and a half month. So, mga six weeks yun. So, tapos na yung program, and then, nakalimutan ko na meron pala akong 90-day challenge. So, nag-email si Kap, may work pa ako nito, guys. May work pa ako. I was working in Makati. And then, nakaka-uwi ako ng bahay sa Quezon City around 7 p.m. And nag-open ako ng email. And ang sabi doon is, you only have until 11.59 p.m. to submit your 90-day challenge. So, if ikaw, imagine, ah, wala akong nagawa. Ang nagawa ko lang, siguro yung first part. So, ang nangyari is, hmm... Tanong ko nga yung mga kaklase ko kung gumawa sila. Ma-outak, di ba? Ma-outak. Sabi ko, Uy, classmate, uh, meron ka bang 90-day challenge na isasubmit? Ah, classmate, wala eh. Uy, puta, pareha pala tayong ano? Di magsasubmit. So, may tinanong na naman ako another na classmate. Classmate, meron ka bang ano? Meron ka bang 90-day challenge na isasubmit? Sabi niya, Ah, meron ako, kaya lang feeling ko ang pangit eh. Di na lang, ko, di, di na lang din ako magsasubmit. Sabi ko, Hmm... Okay to, ah. tatlo na kami hindi magsasubmit. Okay to, hindi na lang din ako magsasubmit. So remember guys, so that's 7. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I only have 5 hours left to submit. Something, kahit na hindi sobrang ganda, something na presentable lang. No, you have, ito, ito malupit. During that night, meron parang energy or spirito ba or kung ano mang hangin ang pumasok sa, ano ko, sa sistema ko. Sabi, kailangan mo mag-submit. Kailangan mo mag-submit. Kailangan mag-submit, kailangan mag-submit. Give up all your excuses and submit. Kasi ganito yan. If mag-submit ako ng 90-day challenge or ng thesis ko, walang mawawala sa akin. Correct? If hindi ako mag-submit ng 90-day challenge ko or ng thesis ko, wala ring mawawala sa akin. So whether mag-submit ako or hindi ako mag-submit, panalo pa rin ako. Mautak, di ba? Pero, during that night, talagang I gave up all my excuses Tinanggal ko yung mga 5 hours na lang. Tinanggal ko yung kasi ibang classmate ko hindi nag-submit. Tinanggal ko lahat yun. And I procrastinate. I procrastinate. Imagine, siguro mga 12 pages, 13 pages lang yun. And for me, I believe na malaki pa yung ibubuga ko dun sa ginawa kong yun. So, I submit it around 11 p.m. something. So, just one hour before the deadline. So, barang cram nun, guys. Believe me. And it turns out that submitting that thesis was the best decision that I made in my trading career. You know why? You know why? why? I was able to speak in Singapore after submitting that. I was able to become one of the Kidlat Knights. I was able to quadruple my money last January to March. I am now in front of you because I submitted that thesis. Imagine, I was one excuse away. If I made an excuse that night, wala po ako dito sa harap nyo ngayon. Imagine, kasi naniniwala ako that from point A to point B, sobrang daming barriers dyan. Sobrang daming lubak-lubak, alam mo yon. And isa sa dapat mong tanggalin is yung mga excuses. So, for example, dadaan ka. Excuse, tanggal. Excuse, tanggal. Excuse, tanggal. Excuse, tanggal. Kasi, mayroon mo kinakita ng successful na tao na puro excuses. Wala pa, di ba? So, naisip ko, if lahat ng successful na tao walang excuses, might as well, hindi na lang din ako gumawa ng excuse sa buhay ko. You have to remember that good things happen when you remove excuses in your life. Amen? Amen. Ulitin ko ha, kasi ito yung pinakagusto ko talagang tumatak sa inyo eh. 
Good things happen when you remove excuses in your life. I have a challenge to each and every one of you. Think of all the excuses that you can think right now. Ano yung example ng mga excuses nyo, usually? Ano yun? Puyat, ano pa? Gutom, ano pa? Pagod, ano pa? May full time, may trabaho. Sino may ganung excuse? Ah, may trabaho kasi ako eh. Sino dito yung, ah, minimum wage earner lang naman ako eh. Sino dito yung mga may feeling na, ah, sobrang bata ko pa lang para maging successful. Edad, di ba? Ang daming excuses na tumatakbo dyan sa utak nyo. Now, think of all the excuses. The top three excuses that you can think of right now. Pwede yung isulat, pwede yung isipin. It's up to you. Now, can you raise your right hand? Raise your right hand. So, nandiyan na ba excuses sa utak nyo? Okay. So, okay, okay. Uh, hawakan nyo yung utak nyo. Hawakan nyo yung utak nyo. Okay, okay. Now, kunin nyo yung mga excuses. Kunin nyo yung mga excuses. Kunin yung mga excuses. Hawakan nyo, hawakan nyo, hawakan nyo. Today, repeat after me, repeat after me. Today, Today I, am letting go I am letting go of all my excuses, of all my excuses in my life. In my life. Tapon nyo. Huwag sa katabi nyo, ha? Okay. Okay ba? How does it feel? Diba? Sobrang ganda. And I am challenging each and every one of you the moment na lumabas kayo dyan sa hall na yan, I challenge you na tanggalin nyo na lahat ng excuses sa buhay nyo. Believe me, sobrang daming changes na mangyayari. So, konting review lang tayo. Konting review. What's the number three reason? Fear of failure. And how do you battle fear of failure? Just keep on trying. Because everything starts from trying. Thank you. The second reason is procrastination. Procrastination, procrastination is the number one reason kung bakit na de-delay yung success natin. And the last one is excuses. Good things happen when you remove excuses in your life. Now, di ba sabi ko kanina, ito yung mga bagay na dapat nating tanggalin sa sistema natin. Kasi naniniwala ako na sobrang dami nyo ng alam. Sobrang dami ng information dyan sa katawan nyo. Baka ang kulang na lang is yung pagtanggal. Naniniwala kayo doon. So, to end this, stop with the excuses. Stop delaying things. Stop saying, what if I will fail? Instead, do the work. Keep working. And don't stop until it's done. And money results, and success will definitely follow. Thank you and good afternoon. <laughs>